I was, uh, I was just thinking you guys are going to think this is going to be the single most boring update of the new aquarium gallery to date. But I gotta say, it's really exciting to me because just a few days ago when we did the original tour of the layout of the new location, I kind of talked about all of the things that I need to do, which was painting, security measures, et cetera, et cetera. There were so many things, repairing walls, taking beers down, removing. It was a lot of work and I was starting to think like, man, I bit off more than I could chew. I'm gonna be in here painting for weeks. Yeah, I got excited, we did it in a few days. I'm gonna bring you guys through what we've got done so far and kind of the plans and what's to come next. But first and foremost, the entrance. This is obviously the first thing that people are gonna see when they walk in here. Um, I'll go out the door a little bit. I'm not using a wide angle lens, so it's gonna be hard to see everything. But um, when you walk in the front doors here, we have the 3D logo of the King of DIY. You guys will remember this from the original podcast studio. Uh, it had to be moved here because this logo is 10 feet long and four feet tall, whereas the new studio's wall is only seven feet wide. Uh, so it's three feet too long. It just couldn't go there. Plus I thought it made way more sense to come in here, put a couple plants on either side of it, and then a bench temporarily. Eventually we'll probably have like a desk or a kiosk come out a few feet and probably be those dimensions anyway. But for now, uh, since this isn't open to the public right now, I decided we're gonna put it right there. Also painted this entire room. Look how bright and white and fresh this is. It just kind of sets the vibe. Uh, install security cameras everywhere. Uh, you're gonna notice that I'm probably gonna miss a lot of things that I forget to talk about, but uh, we got so much things done that to the point where this place is like, it's, it's getting ready for me to build the stands and whatnot. Still plenty more to do, but uh, we're getting quite far, uh, quite far along. Obviously painted every wall, mirrors are removed, patched all the holes in the walls. Everything is repaired and fixed. And uh, oh yeah, and some people are like, how are you gonna clean this place? They, uh, we, I, I have these little robot vacuum things I got four years ago for the original gallery and never used them in there. They've been keeping the floor <laughs> clean for me ever since. And that's gonna be a big thing is like, how am I going to take care of all of this? You know, we're gonna have thousands of gallons of aquariums you know, water changes and maintenance and sweeping and cleaning and blah, blah, blah. So the bots are gonna do the sweeping. One of the things for water changes is I have to build a platform on top of this platform to further brace it. It's gonna come, it's gonna go from straight back all the way down because this platform's about 12 feet long, 14 feet long and front to back it's five feet. So what I was thinking was we could easily uh, put up some water containers up there, like 300 ga gallon water containers and uh, have about a thousand gallons of pre-mixed water up there at any point in time because we are on town water now which is uh, chlorinated and chlorine I'm sorry chlorine and chloramin is in it so I got to make sure that we uh, store the water and treat it first otherwise I could do water changes and treat the water as it goes in but there's just gonna be too many tanks in here to do that with so I was thinking one of the best options is just to have it on tap and I can also do gravity fed water changes and that's why I'm getting at this is ignore my mess. That's all garbage. <laughs> um, oh, and by the way, it is like real wood up here. This is an actual wall here. Um, so it's going to be pretty easy to support and build, you know, like a, uh, almost like a, you know, a, a, a wall along the wall. We'll see. I'll just have to figure it out. Uh, but if I do gra gravity fed water changes through a one and a half inch pipe, and this is going to be a little boring for you guys, but I do the math on everything and at the slope that the water is going to drain out of these. So when I open a one and a half inch valve, the slope that it's going to be draining at and uh, the height that it is, as well as the uh, diameter of the pipe, it's going to flow about 3000 gallons per hour which means I can change 3,000 gallons or fill 3,000 gallons of aquariums within an hour. But I'm not gonna do that. So imagine, uh, quick math, there's 3,000 gallons of water out here and I wanna do a 20% water change. We're looking at 600 gallons of water needs to be changed. Of that 600, I've already got 1,000 on tap. I'm draining 3,000 gallons an hour. Uh, it'll take me about 15 minutes to drain and fill, I'm sorry, to fill 600 gallons of water that got changed. The, the longest part is going to be the actual siphoning and draining of it, but even then draining 600 gallons of water through a one inch, one and a half inch pipe is only gonna take about 15, 20 minutes, just like the filling process. So ideally I could technically change 600 gallons of water in about 30 minutes. 
So when people are like, oh, how are you gonna maintain it? You're gonna be there all day. You're gonna need to hire staff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No, I've, uh, I haven't needed staff or help for the last four years with the current gallery, and this is not going to be any different. This is going to be a much larger space, and technically there's going to be more bigger aquariums besides the 2000. We're not going bigger than a 700 in here. I can't because of the structural engineer advised what I need to do and what I can't do, and this is on a second floor technically. It is a commercial building though, and it's not built like your home, so do not try to do this stuff at home uh, unless you have a structural engineer give you a stamp of approval like I did with that uh, current layout and whatnot and where the tanks are gonna go. But yeah, maintaining this is going to be super simple for myself. I mean, ultimately sweep some floors, do some, you know, I don't know, dusting, I guess is what you would do. Um, clean the bathrooms when needed uh, and do my water change. It's not gonna be a big deal. The, these mirrors, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. If you guys remember, they used to be on this wall. Um, I put one in there just to put it in there, just get it out of the way. And I was thinking I was gonna put one mirror here just to make the space look a little bit bigger. I don't know, we'll figure out something to do with those mirrors. But uh, the one thing that we did do, I didn't touch this wall much. I just painted it a little bit because this wall has to be removed and a firewall put up eventually. It's supposed to be this month. Better be this month. We'll see though. Uh, this is the female bathroom. We have three washrooms here. We have the female, we have the handicap, and then we have the main washroom. Female washroom is going to be turned into the quarantine and hospital area. And the simple reason is this, once again, just due to the water source, I am on a well at home, but commercial, or I'm sorry, uh, what, what is that called? I haven't had to deal with uh, town water, I guess you could call it. Town water uh, here and the parameters of each location are going to be dramatically different and treated differently, probably different temperatures. Plus, when a fish is ready to come here to save them the drive and the stress, I figured let's just do everything on site and then uh, they have the best chance of survival simply because everything's identical. Because uh, I run every tank the same temperature, every tank the same water parameters, and uh, all of the same water quality, etc. So might as well do the quarantine hospital tanks here as well. And I'm thinking it'll be done in here with a, a few 120-gallon uh, tanks, probably two 120-gallon tanks and some 40s. The main bathroom, everything's been labeled as well. So we now have proper labeling. You'll see that there's employees only. I replaced all locks as well, so this can lock. So if I don't want anybody in there, they don't, but this is uh, wheelchair accessible. This is the public bathroom, for example. And we do have a um, ramp that comes up in here. This room here, and people wanted this room ripped down. I'm not doing that. Uh, I have plans for this room here eventually, and that'll come to fruition in time. We can talk about that when it's ready. But uh, yeah, I'm not ripping these walls down and opening it up, or I, I think that's what people said was, why don't you rip down every wall and just have, I don't want a big warehouse uh, feeling of tanks, like a big open tanks. I love having the reception area. I love having crowd flow and being able to control where the path of people are going to go. And this place will not be like a free roam area. It will be guided towards by myself. It's an educational uh, facility here to serve for inspiration as well as education. And I feel the best way for me to do that is to do guided tours. People will not be on their own free roaming throughout here. So it's not going to be like this. Um, some people worried about fish getting poisoned or something happening or stolen, etc. I'm gonna be right there with them the whole time. Uh, we'll be open during uh, certain hours, certain days, etc. Details on that to come if that's the way we go. Um, and those details will be released like next year. So it's not uh, something I'm too concerned about right now. But every door has a lock on it. Every door is labeled properly. The upstairs, I painted this. I thought black looked way better. Um, actually, my friend Twyla painted this. Uh, my daughter Haley painted this wall. Tamara helped taping. And then I did uh, a lot of painting myself. But uh, yeah, so, oh, and my son did the lock changes. So this has been like a family effort type of thing, um, but we are doing it all ourselves. A gate to come up because this is not open to the public up here. Come up here and um, there's only two offices up here, two office spaces. One's going to be like the staff room for us to, you know, get something to eat or relax for a minute, take a break, etc whatever the case might be. And there's just the basic necessities. So air conditioning, a little couch that turns into a, well, it's a futon. So you guys know what that is. Television, um, little table and chairs, little fridge, microwave, air fryer, coffee maker, sink, a little storage for some snacks and whatnot. Pretty basic stuff. And then over here is where the podcast studio is going to be. And this is why, uh, 
that uh, logo couldn't go on there. Can't go on that wall because it's too short. And this one, um, I, I only have seven feet front to back and there's just not enough room. So I put it here, be a podcast studio as well as editing. So the podcast will pick back up in time. Uh, I'm only bringing over like the random stuff right now, like the skeleton of things. I don't have everything here yet. Internet is hooked up tomorrow. Security systems being installed on doors, windows, etc. Even though I already have security cameras, I'm getting a, a monitored system here. So if anything ever were ever to happen and I was sleeping in the middle of the night, uh, we'll have people responding, the, the right uh, authorities and whatnot. Like I said, a lot of boring stuff, just painting and whatnot, but this is something that's going to take up a tremendous amount of time is the behind the scenes and the setups. And I spend more time on the phone and in calls and, and, and getting permits and all this stuff than I do actually doing hands on. But when I do, I just go hard out here and get everything done in a relatively short amount of time. The focus is, of course, is bringing all the best things from the current gallery in terms of what we learned to, for taking care of thousands of gallons of water, what makes the most sense and uh, to do it the quickest and safest and most efficient ways. And we're going to bring it all here. Uh, the next thing we got to do, of course, I got to build all the stands. I need to build 10 180 gallon stands. I need to build a 375 gallon stand. I need to build one 120 gallon tank stands. And I suspect that could take a week or two building stand up or maybe just a day, two days, two, two to three days. If I'm going to be completely honest and I go hard, I can, I can get it done in two to three days. All the wood cut up on day one, start putting them all together day two and finish putting them together day three. And then, you know, day four, day five potentially is wrapping them. Wood is so expensive right now. What do you guys think it's gonna cost to build all those stands? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure I got an idea, um, but we'll, we'll disclose a lot of costs and stuff like that in the near future. Uh, one of the next things I wanna do as a next video is show you the layout of where every aquarium is going to go. Uh, and I'll be able to do that just the same way as I did the original gallery and other tank builds that I've done inside my house for years is just take some masking tape and tape out on the floor where everything's going to go. And then you get an idea of the flow and how much room you have around each tank because I want, uh, I'm not stacking tanks on top of each other. I'm not putting them touching each other side. I'm not trying to jam as many aquariums in here as humanly possible. I want to have the most amount of meaningful aquariums positioned in a meaningful way where many people can surround the same tank as we do an educational talk about each one. It'll be also be interesting to uh, see how they're all laid out as peninsulas. I want benches everywhere, seating. It's gonna, it's gonna be a while, but we're getting along. I think in the next video, uh, we'll go ahead and probably do the final layout uh, um, where the tanks can go based off of where the the beams are and what the structural engineer approved on but uh, yeah lots to do hope you guys are enjoying the ride so far sorry for the lack of videos i don't have internet here so it's tough to do any editing gotta film here and then take it home blah 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 and i'm always covered i was covered in paint constantly so uh, that was kind of holding me off but moving forward uh, especially since from tomorrow i'll be able to do everything from here editing uh, filming editing and uploading all from the same location which makes things super super simple um, but in the next video um, either we'll go back to this the, the old gallery because i got a few things i want to show you that are pretty cool but uh or, or we'll do the layout let me know which one you want to see in the in the comment section below I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching